snacks. Hey, what it do, snackers and snackettes? It's your boy Gage. That's Joe. Yo, yo. That's Sin. This is Loading Snacks Weekly, where we get together once a week and talk about things happening in pop culture. Yes, we do. Um, And this week, mm -hmm. I want to talk about the rise in popularity of comic book shows. Okay. Right? Like, how do we think it's doing? Where, where did it all come from? What's working, what's not working, what we want to see, maybe in the future, where we think it's headed, all that, all of that jazz, mm -hmm. all of the jazz. Um, between us, we watch probably all of the I think main like comic on. book shows, but none of us watch all of them. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, I know. I can agree with that. So, what do you? <laughs> that was a really I hard. No, because I'm thinking if I if breath. I legitimately watch all of them. You might, cause you, yeah, because you because you always pick up. Yeah, yeah. So there, there, there's there's one on my list. I I've technically not started watching yet, but people I trust have told me that it's good. So it's like I'm I will. Like watch I'm it. pretty sure you didn't watch Legion. That and that's just I'm what I'm talking saying, about. Yep, I'm like I have friends yep. that tell me that it's good. You should watch. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start watching. Well, so clean. that's one of the ones I will be watching. I just haven't. I mean, like I didn't yet. watch. What is it? Uh, what's the one on Hulu? New Mutants or New Mutants? Yeah. No, it's not no, um, no, 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 no. Um, it's the one with the with the that, kids with yeah, the parents, yeah, runaways, 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 runaways. runaways. I'm not. I don't. I haven't. I won't. <laughs> Just like was that it? Yeah, that was it. I think that's it. I think that's where I'm at. Um, what are you watching? So pretty much all the CW, all the Arrowverse. Um, meaning what? Meaning so flat. Actually, you know what? Three or four of the Arrowverse. Um, the Flash, Arrow. Legends of Tomorrow, the only one that I just, I haven't fully been up on is mm -hmm. Supergirl. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm through seasons one and two, but I just haven't found the point. Like to it, really, didn't, it didn't, it didn't click with you? It didn't click. It, it's okay, but it doesn't, it doesn't resonate the same way with me that Flash and Arrow does. Okay. Fair enough. What else are you watching? Uh, are you up caught up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm caught up on. Okay. Um... I didn't watch. I'm not caught up on Gotham. Um, I mean, that mm -hmm. one's done now. Uh, I kind of will Correct. probably pull one of your moves and just go ahead and, and just, watch just watch it, it through mm -hmm. just for the sake of doing it. Mm -hmm. um, kind of know what happens sure. just from because of who we are. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you have, or at least you did have the DC um, streaming. And then I was watching, I started watching Young Justice season three. Having, okay, here's, a, well, you know what? Here's what I'm saying. I'm actually not counting Young Justice. Not counting Young Justice. Gotcha. Just only just because, live action stuff. Yeah, just the live action, action stuff okay. that seems to be resonating in some form with, like, mainstream. More people who probably would not have watched or don't collect comic books. Don't go, like, you know what I mean? Like, people who might now be people who go to the movies to see some gotcha. of those. But, you know what I mean? Just, again... But yeah, Young Justice, I feel like it's maybe a little over their heads. Gotcha. Like that might be a bit much. Gotcha. Yeah. But um, I think that's prob though that's probably Titans. Did you watch Titans? I didn't watch Titans. You did though, right? I did. Okay. Um how do you like Titans? Uh I enjoy Titans for what it was. Like it's one of the things that when you're watching the previews and you make certain assumptions about it. Sure. Then when you go back and watch, you're like, uh, I get it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Starfire, like, I get it. You know what I mean? Like now I get why. Of course, we're watching. We have issues with like why is she dressed like that, this and the third. Like, but the second you watch, like it oh. makes sense. Yeah, it makes it complete makes sense. sense. Like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I, I don't care anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of the type of things. But besides that, uh, like you, I watch all the Arrowverse. Uh, now, quote, I I do have stuff to catch up on. That's currency. Yeah, they, they, currency yeah everybody knows that. Yeah, but all the Arrowverse stuff I watch. Uh, I've watched. Titans. I do plan on very, very, very soon watching Doom Patrol. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Doom Patrol. I want to look at Walking Dead. I look at. Uh, oh, I didn't think. You know, I didn't. I didn't. It's based on the comic books. Yeah, you're right. Now, I'm Preacher. Watch I watch. Uh, which is also based off a comic book. Uh, I really should just build up the bring up the plexi. Have you been there, watching like, the second season of Cloak and Dagger? 
I've not started a second scene of Cloak and Dagger yet because of other stuff I need to I just kind of first. Yes, Cloak and Dagger is another you. one, yes, that I do watch. Agents of Shield. We, I know, I know you watched the whole first. Like, we watched the we whole did, first together. Yes. kind of did the whole review thing. Agents of Shield, I do watch. Uh, Are you caught up on that? Are you ready for season six? Like, that's what's going on. I'm now. not ready for season six, but I'm going to watch it. No, I, no I, I don't know what that means. Okay, yes, I've caught up all of season five. Yes, okay. I'm caught up okay. that point. So yes. you're just one The new season just the new one to watch. Yes. I got you. Yeah, but for the most part, I watch a majority of comic book and pop culture shows, like stuff that's supposed to be around. I watch the vast majority of them. The good, bad, and ugly, I watch them so at least that I can. You got it, you know about them. I can. Somebody approaches me, oh, you watch this? I'm like, that's on some trash. I don't know why you watching it. <laughs> but you watching it. I've had shows that people have come up to me at a con, like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest show in the world. Fact, I'll take it off strength and I will try it. Yeah, I couldn't bear the first season alone. I just had to give up. I mean, that's, so I'm, that's, I'm waiting listen, to catch up to those people be like, that's me. That's, that's me in Game of Thrones. That's me in Walking Dead. They don't work. They just didn't work for me. You know what I mean? And that's it's just fair. where the facts are. It is, yeah. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, but, I'm also, like, for me, I'm picky about these shows and the shows I pick and watch the same way I'm picky about the comics that I pick mm -hmm. to read. Like, I don't read every comic. I don't read all comics. I don't like all comics. Not everything is for, for you, me. Right, yeah, yeah. right? So I, I, um, I'm, I understand certain, certain things like Walking Dead, I understand their wider appeal more easily than I understand like the wide appeal like Flash. Right. Only it. because zombies are and have been a thing Damn. for so long. Yeah. Right? They're like they're they're they are Walking Dead is a kind of show that it never really hits in the back of your head that you're watching a show that's based on a comic book. For all intents and purposes right. it's a zombie show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a show about it's it's something that people have under they understand it. You know what I mean? Like zombies vampires, werewolves, all kind of fall into like, oh, it's a horror thing. And yes, there's more going on and you get into like the nitty gritty of kind of people's lives and mm -hmm. things like that. But I understand a little bit more why that ekes its way into the mm -hmm. into pop culture. To a certain extent, the same thing with Game of Thrones. Like I understand why like there's a wider audience of people who seem to resonate with that because Dragons is not <laughs> while it's high fantasy, right? In in yeah. terms of right Dragons is not people with superpowers. You know what I'm saying? Or something mm -hmm. like that, right? It's just kinda like you kinda just, accept that. I was thinking about that recently too. Like like after coming off of Black Sails and going like catching back in the get you know, Game of Thrones, I'm like, why is it that like like going like it was one of the things I'm like I'm going from one period piece to another joint with swords still kinda like like not in the same vein, but you get what I'm saying? Like, right. like, am I going to be, like, just too out of it to watch Game of Thrones? And, like, within 15 minutes of a Game of Thrones episode, I was like, nope, I see why. It's just, it's, I think it's in Game of Thrones. What helps it along, what you're saying, is their writing. Sure. Mm. It's, it, it, sure. it's their writing, how people but, converse with each other and talk to them and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> like. But that's the same, like, part of the reason why I want to have this discussion is because with the, with the popularity of the MCU, mm-hmm, Right. Not in terms of what a standalone film can do, in terms of what having story arcs that tie into each other over a long series, what they can do. Right. Unprecedented in terms of, of movies. Absolutely. But it's how comic books have worked for decades. Mm -hmm. Right. And Anime too. when we were kids. When we were reading comic books, trying to get somebody who wasn't in that world to understand mm -hmm. why you're drawn in, that it's more than, it's more than oh this person has powers and saves people. There's a drama here. It's you know, what about the girlfriend? What right. about the other people in their life? How do they hide it from so and so? What happens when they run out of when they run out of web fluid? What if you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. no, perfect example like the anime I reviewed this week. I said my one of my favorite things about it was those conversations between the, the kids. It wasn't the fighting or anything else. It That's what appealed the, to me. Right. It's yeah. it's it's the ability 
for them to make you see the characters as people mm -hmm. and humanize them in a way that you can identify with as yes. a viewer or as a reader. And I feel like these shows, right, these kind of serialized, you're watching mm -hmm. The Flash, does it mean you're going to go pick up a comic book? Not necessarily, Not but you you start to get that there's more to these characters, right? And there always have been. Than, than just mm -hmm. than just always and fast. find a bad guy. And he, right. Yeah, like yeah. there's so much more to it. And that, there's not just a lot of depth to those characters, but there's depth to their villains. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. yes. Yeah, that kind of a thing. So like, I don't think I know anybody who's into this stuff who doesn't, like even if they have a favorite hero, most people also have a favorite villain. That's true too. Whether you hate, whether you just hate them enough to want to see them lose in the end or whatever it is, but like you compliment them because man, he's so smart, or he always, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Like what you're getting now in terms of a show like this is very different from what you got with like Adam West, Batman, yeah, yeah. right? Where it's like we just need to get through these twenty-two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's let's rob a bank. Right. Let's have him go Let's in. Let's have the chase. Let's get him captured. Let's do a chase. Let's do a breakout. Let's say back a lot of times. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. about it. That's right. right. And let's have a yeah. fight. And, gotta, and yeah. you gotta have your effects. Let's have a fight. Wait. Let's save the day. <sighs> like, very basic, right? But because these shows... Comic books work like soap operas. That's the way I always saw them when I was a kid, right? Like, I, my grandmother... I had folks that... You know, got got to watch my shows, got to, got to see yeah. got to see my my soaps, right? Comic books were the same thing. You read an issue, and the story's not over. Mm -hmm. Now you stuck waiting. Oh man, can't wait to see what happens in the next issue. Mm -hmm. And then the tiny tidbits that are in there yeah. that are tied to whatever the next thing is, or oh man, when you, you know, it just people are really starting to get that. What do you think it is specifically about the shows? Like, you watch everything, but whatever your favorites, <laughs> you watch stuff that's terrible. You just said it, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I watch <laughs> Out whatever. of the things that are, like, your favorite, what is it, not specifically that draws you, mm -hmm. but what do you think specifically appeals to people who aren't people like you who grew up kind of in it already? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's having the right people in place to act out these characters. Oh, certainly. That's a big thing. We've learned that from Marvel all these years. We always compliment them on doing a good job of picking people to act out their characters. Same thing with any other show, whether it's Game of Thrones, Arrow, Flash, whatever. I think the ones that are successful do a phenomenal job at, one, casting the people playing these roles. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the stories are, are well written enough, at least in early iterations, you know what I mean, to to, to pull people pull in who may, not, who may not know. Like I just think it's... It's a combination of, of all those things going forward over all these years. They've seen what the MCU has the power of doing. You know what I mean? They, they've shown it. They've showed how big, whether they're not having the Netflix ones anymore, we know they're going away, you know. But, like, how, how big of a deal that was probably on their timeline. Right. Mm -hmm. Seeing, like, a Daredevil's a big thing, a Jessica Jones. Who's Jessica Jones? A big thing. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. coming on ABC, knowing that's going to be tied into the MCU being a big thing. Like, it's just one of the things I think that we've as geeks as nerds have beaten down the door of hollywood down so much they can help but let us in now we're able to really go on and tell these stories and tell these tales to put them in the light to everybody to let them understand and know to come in and enjoy what we've enjoyed all these years it's just taking everything putting it in the right perspective you know what I'm saying? you can't just go out to be a cheesy comic book with it that's not gonna work for everybody right. no you're right i you know said so you gotta have you gotta have these heartfelt Stories behind the characters, and I think those stories do and yeah. have existed within comic books for years. I, I th no, right? they like absolutely they have. Yeah. It's just, it's just taking something I like think, the MCU to, 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 I guess, to make it a make them. What's what I'm looking for? Like, not cooler. I don't want to say cooler. Yeah, legitimate, legitimate, yeah, something like that. Something yeah, like that. yeah. I think um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that there were fewer people, right? Like, when you think about somebody like a Gene Roddenberry, you know what I mean, and doing, like, a Star Trek. Trek. The people who are into it are into it. The people mm. who ain't... They ain't into it. They ain't, <laughs> right? But the people who are creating it and believed in it and were pushing that vision 
were far and few between. There were probably tons of people who were even working on it when they first decided we're gonna do this show. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. We going through space. We da da da. And they were probably like, this is the dumbest thing, right? Who didn't necessarily like a lot of people felt that way about George Lucas when they did the first Star Wars. Even the actors who were in it yeah. were like, what? Yeah, okay, they're, they're, we on yeah. what planet? We doing what thing? This is the you know what I mean? Didn't get it. But now we live in a time where three, four decades later, the people who grew up on that stuff mm -hmm. and it's normal to are the people who are in charge of creating it yes the people who love and have respected it from day and, one and that's what i forgot to say i was just just going to say yeah same thing like we are all now we are in those positions in hollywood now we're the adults with the jobs with all the of money it, in going into it. Yeah, like all, yeah. around. So now, all that all the stuff we wanted to see on the big screen for all these years and seeing it done right which was our biggest thing now we're making it happen. You have people who care about the material, right? Exactly. There have always been people who are like, well, this is popular and it's making money here. How do we turn it into a Hollywood thing? Mm -hmm. How do we turn it into something where we can make tons of money right. and whatever? And, okay, well, we don't want to do that. Let's change this. Okay, and then let's switch this because and it's like, yeah, but nah, that's not how that's it works. Exactly, that's and, and that's the problem. That, that That's where the conflict always came right. with us and right. them. Like, not, nah, it's popular for a reason. Leave right. it alone, alone and just and let just, it go. Yeah. Respect for what it is and trying to bring it into another realm where these businesses don't mm -hmm. line up, right? And you're like, in order for it to be a successful blockbuster movie, it has to have these elements. And so we need to change this and change this, change somebody's name, change somebody's right. skin tone. Right. Change nope. change what, you know what I mean? Like, make that, and as, and as they see now, you make it the way it's supposed to be, or as close as you can because we can't get all the characters and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, right. we will come out and show support and right. be behind it. Right. And you'll get your money. Not and either, I also think social media has a lot to do with that. Absolutely. Yes. Um, yes. Because I feel like in this realm we live in with the MCU, there's a lot of people who will be like, that's not right. Scarlet Witch isn't a... She's a mutant. She's supposed to have that out, right? But because of social media and the way information and stuff like that works now, mm -hmm. it's out there that like, well... They don't have the rights to use mutant because they did this that, and like everybody knows everybody that. Knows. Right. So, so the people it's not who issue. are in the know about the difference between a mutant and who they really are or whatever, who would be the people who would complain about it and not like it or whatever, know and understand, okay, we have the we we actually gotta shoehorn this in here. Exactly. Somehow. We because, gonna make it work. And yeah, because we can't yeah, make it and work. We'll find a way to accept yeah. it because we know it doesn't work. We know somehow, what's going we on. We know why, right, right. We know somehow maybe on. eventually you know what? Hey, we can go back and we can change it and we can make it the way that it's supposed to be. Right. That's why everybody's like, Man, can y'all just sign that deal? <laughs> Facts. Y'all just sign that sign, deal. Come on, sign on that line. You need to knock on five door. You need to knock on the door. We we will knock. We will knock. Kick the door in actually. You will have an army of people out there knocking. Yeah, man, I, 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 um, I'm, it's a weird thing. I'm super impressed, even with the shows I don't like, right, that are popular with other people. Like, y'all yeah, like Flash? I'm not into it. Mm. I'm not saying it's a bad show. I'm just not into it, right? Arrow, I started watching. They kind of lost me. Okay. It is what it is. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I was on it. I dropped off a little bit, and I came back, got back on it, like, because they were just doing such a good job of tying it directly into things that were happening in the movies and stuff like right. that, and I was mm -hmm. like, yo, this is incredible, there's never been anything like this, like, it's like, you know what I mean, like, it'd be like, an episode comes on, and then a movie comes out, and, and when the next episode comes on next week, oh. stuff that happened in the movie is, man, that's a spoiler, you can't even do that. John, like, clean, um, so I'm super impressed with that level of of respect for the work um and for the characters like these people these hollywood these actors people who don't even necessarily have love for the characters or whatever themselves who have gained like a love and a respect mm -hmm. for like the comic-con circuit right oh yeah because now they know hey look they got work for the rest of their they're, lives. They're, all them Game of Thrones people are going to eat for the rest of their life oh. with cons. Oh. They all eating for the rest of their oh. life with cons. Game of Thrones cons. Like, they, don't I, get me wrong. Like, everybody who was on The Sopranos could eat for a long time. Yes, they can. Oh, yes, they right? can. Right? Yes, but not can. off the con circuit. Not like, not, no. nah. Not no. like somebody, anybody from the Arrowverse. No, anything, anything MCU, DCU eats practically for life. That's... 
Like we they like we not going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I'll be at your con. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right I, up. I, I show I show up on a Saturday and Sunday. Right. Yeah. Make me a quick guap. And cons <laughs> have gotten so much like people now mm -hmm. that people know that that's a thing. They've grown. Seeing the people be so awestruck, dumbstruck. You can pick out the people who ain't who've never been never to a been con. Never been to a con. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looking around like I do. I, I Who made lie. these people's outfits? Did they buy these <laughs> like, no. directly from? Nah, made it myself. Yeah, like really. It's a. It's yeah. a. It's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. You mean my baby can go see four, five Wonder Womans in the same day? You're <laughs> four, five from different eras mm -hmm. of different yes. sizes You're and with different all of them. colors. And then walk yep. over there, spend two hundred dollars, and get a picture with the actual Wonder Woman. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Like that's, that's a real a, thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. Um, what about you, man? Like, what's drawing you in? How do you, you mean, like, um, being you know just being a fan in general, but kind of what he was saying, you know, the stories kind of pull me in. Now, it's like let's say let's take Flash and Arrow for just for examples. Now, they're superheroes. So they they're superheroes. <laughs> they have powers to do whatever. But there are certain elements of the story that I like that show the the true human side of everything now whereas let's take flash you know what he's still a, a normal guy he's got a day job he's working uh csi he's doing right. these type of things but he has real life issues that still come up even though he's out here running saving the world you know what he's got real life issues that any of us can have sure and still has to deal with them still the same way that any of us will have to deal with them i mean to a certain extent. I mean, you get what I'm yeah. saying. You know, he be messing with yeah, the timeline. <laughs> yeah, Oliver, Oliver, Oliver got no powers. He got messed with everything straight up. Are you right? Yeah, but Oliver got. <laughs> he got them hands. He had money. He had money. He had money. He had money. He had, he had, money. Money. He had, he had work, work. He had a work work now. Yeah. He had a work work now. Yeah. He's, um, he's truly falling. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I mean, when we've seen like he's gone from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, mm -hmm. um, but he's worked his way back to you know being one with himself I think would be the way to say yeah he may not be the rich billionaire yeah. kid playboy that he yeah. was in the beginning but he is a completely different person he's grown from it and I just he's love yeah. and I just love seeing that evolution that you can see from yeah. season one all the way through like say season six season seven wherever you want to go to I think that's important to be able to differentiate him a little more from Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Because in the beginning, it season was like one, he was killing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> season one, Arrow ain't giving no ass. You have you, failed. This you are city. dying yeah. today. Yeah. It's then a rap. you know he had that growth. Like, nah, I can't. I, I, I nah, no I can't do. Killing? I can't do that like, no more. Mm -hmm. Like, I lost my man. You know, being that way. Like, mm -hmm. you constantly see the growth of like, say, him, Flash, like all them, like throughout the series or whatever. What do you think about? the CW's ability to cross these shows over with one another. Like, Marvel has struggled so much <laughs> with, at least on regular television, mm -hmm. having, sh being able to have a show, a series, and have multiples, and be able to, do, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been doing well enough that they got mm -hmm. six seasons in or whatever, but like, in humans, nah, dog. No. no. They um, didn't even barely get an episode. You know. The, the, <laughs> that was one of the ones I did not watch, and but I was want to some, so bad. Some <laughs> solid success with, obviously, with their Netflix shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And then they did do crossover. Mm -hmm. Right? And there was crossover there. So there was a potential mm -hmm. there. Right. Right? What do you think DC is doing differently? Because even with... Cause you gotta bear in mind that like the Arrowverse wasn't a thing at first. Yeah, Yo, you're right, completely. They right. had different shows, and no, then they made the they, decision. They, they, they had Arrow, so just like decided to bring Super, in Flash. Supergirl mm -hmm. was, was on a completely different network. network, and they brought her over. Right, right. Smooth. Um, yeah, the inner workings behind that—that's a whole. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then they didn't do that with Black Lightning. Yeah. No, that's what frustrates me about and Black Lightning. Wondering. Like they went to bat for Supergirl to get her. To somehow, some way, during like mid season too, like get her to come over to CW, mm -hmm. like, because I think it was well, second they didn't season. Well, they did go in the second season. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they didn't have a, a quote unquote crossover until it was second half of her second season when Barry actually actually runs too fast. Runs and went and over. Right, it, was a, it was like their full 
blown right. crossover joke. Right. But it was it just a way. To, yeah, it was a way just to let you know that Flash can reach her yep. in this universe. Right. So when they do need her, we right. can reach her on different we can, we, Yeah, we, right. we can reach they her. They made yeah. a big yeah. deal out of it because they were on uh, what's the singing show together um, on Fox. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, I, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did a whole episode, a whole musical episode with yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but in my trip, isn't. Isn't Black Lightning on CW? No, it is. It, it is. is on CW. So that's that's a that's a thing for me. No, that's something that I believe they need to rectify. Yeah. Like just. I think it's too late. But I'm nah, just saying, I think it's too late. It. I, I hate to say that because they're talking about it may not survive after this next season. Like I, I start. I love Black Lightning. Here's the thing: if it's going to survive after this, because I haven't watched the new season yet. If it does, they need to put him in the Arrowverse with Arrow leaving. I would like they did just, you they watch just the the animated Arrowverse for um you mean like Vixen yeah yeah Vixen and then they did bring her live action yep, onto the show I mean she didn't get her own no nope, but she's no. show but yeah. she's on she's been on Legends and she's in a couple Arrow episodes which is, which yep. is cool yeah I dig that and they could have probably done a few more things like that like a couple more spotlights. Or brought a couple other characters in and done something similar to that. I think that would have been cool. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of like the idea of what they were doing with CWC and and doing like it that way, like mm -hmm. animated thing, and then being like, all right, well, we're gonna take this this person who's doing this voice. Yeah, because the next thing it looks like, like they're doing, because like just actually same thing like they did with Supergirl. Um, like Constantine got canceled. Yeah. Um, and I love I love Constantine. I actually like the fact that. They pulled him from Fox. They like just, pulled you know, him like, just like, like the that. same person, like everything, like pulled him from Fox. And now the talk is, is they're going to actually give him his show back and okay. potentially be on the CW. Right. So it's like that's interesting. It's it's it kind of like on the on the. No, I'm just looking at the, I'm thing. looking at the bouncing timeline because he started on Fox, then he showed up on Arrow as a guest. Mm -hmm. Guest episode, then they put him on fully Legends. on Legends. Yeah, fully on Legends. Yeah, so for him to come out of that and have it like get his own show back as a part of the Arrowverse, mm -hmm. interesting, interesting, nice little journey. Could be dope. All right, well, you know, look, I, you know, we're not gonna beat the horse dead, but I just thought it would be an interesting conversation to kind of talk about some of this evolution, mm -hmm. like kind of where it's gone, how it has seemed to infect the mainstream. Like I see <laughs> so many people wearing like T-shirts. Oh yeah, Dark, of like, yes. yeah, like th th there's money, there's dollars being spent for sure. Oh, I've been seeing people post stuff like, "Come on, dog, like yeah. really, yeah, really, you really watch Game of Thrones like that? Like you so heavily in <laughs> that character? Stop it! No, yeah, yeah. which house sure, are you a yeah. part of? Yeah, Stark all day. Let's go. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you mean Tony? Like, oh, no. take the shirt. No, take. Don't be so shirt. disrespectful, right? You know? <laughs> um, so look, y'all, let us know. What you think? If you're someone who doesn't traditionally read comic books, um, but you have fallen into one of these shows or into the movies or what have you, mm -hmm. let's know in the comments what it is that drew you in, how you ended up, you know, getting caught up, <laughs> mm -hmm. as we say, um, in this rapture of of fandom that that we enjoy so much. Um, we want to thank you for tuning in, and with that, we're out. Tools and loose.